welcome back to Violet's Cover. I'm Leah and today we are talking about This Savage Song and Our Dark Duet by Victoria Schwab. I actually read these books months ago and I totally forgot to do a cover review because I actually listened to the audiobooks so I didn't have the covers and then I just like spaced and forgot. <laughs> so yeah we're just gonna get a weird floating picture the whole time I'm talking about this. The book design is by Paul Zacharis, who is a art director at HarperCollins Publishing in New York City. Working under him is Jenna Stemple, who was a senior designer and did the art and hand lettering for these covers. There is some stock photography used in these, but it's hidden way in the back. It's just Shutterstock. Jenna has also done the covers for Dividing Eden and The Hate You Give, which I know are pretty popular so like I said the title font is hand drawn so I cannot give you a typeface for it but the author copy at the bottom is definitely Futura I know that and they gave us the body copy which is Dante MT regular and I've never seen Dante before but I like it just because of the name in the context of this very creepy book so obviously I don't have a book here to touch and feel but off of pictures and what I can guess about. The title is embossed a little bit and because it is made to look almost like it's drawn with chalk I believe there is a texture to the paper to enhance that. The covers use a form of double imagery where you have the outline of a violin and inside is a scene, the savage song being a city street and our dark duet being inside a building looking out onto a skyline. Then around the violin there is some texture splattering in the darkness which I'm guessing is kind of supposed to draw in from the bloody gory parts of these books. And obviously they are very visually similar, the biggest difference being the red and the blue. I do like these color tones and they're complementing each other of like hot and cold, light and dark, you know, red and blue, it's just kind of what you think. There is a interview with Jenna about her process designing these covers and it includes some variations from her earlier concepts that I will include here. I'm really glad they went with what they did with and not these. And we're not even going to talk about the UK cover and it's all white background and use of the Twilight font, so that doesn't exist. In the interview there's also a quote from Victoria who said she really loves the jacket design and the direction they went and the use of trying to include the thematic elements of like hope and identity and self-discovery instead of just the nitty-gritty action parts. However, to me, from my point of view, when I pick these books up, these are super feminine looking books. And yeah, there's a female pro tag, but there's also a male pro tag, and it's also kind of a dystopia fantasy thriller, and there's also a lot of gore and monsters and like, just really unexpected. <laughs> And I do get trying to reflect that the beauty of humanity and the music and whatever, but like, is it the best reflection of the book? Eh, that's really all I have for these book covers right now. Um, yeah, they're pretty good books. I'd recommend picking them up. It's just a duology, so quick to get through, you don't have to wait for book three. Victoria's always really good at writing male-female relationships especially on like friendship levels, even before romantic levels. Thank you so so much for watching. Hit like and subscribe down below if you haven't already. Leave me some comments with your thoughts on these covers and I'll see you guys in the next chapter.